This is Kevin McMurray with TrackingSharks.com. Today, we are looking at a shark attack bite in California. Lynn Dutronich, 50, was taking her normal swim off the coast of Del Mar. Dutronich has been doing the same roughly one-mile swim with a partner two to three times a week all summer. The swim takes about 30 to 40 minutes to complete based on water conditions. On November 4, 2022, the water was rough, which forced Dutronich and her swim partner, David, further out to sea. Simply because the waves were breaking farther than they normally do on that, on that day. We weren't near the buoy, the half-mile buoy or the quarter-mile buoy yet, but it was farther than I'm usually comfortable being. Around 10 a.m., they neared the end of the swim, and the two took their normal break before swimming into shore. As the two floated in the water in their black wetsuits, a suspected white shark rammed into Jutronich, grabbing her inner thigh on the right leg. It was terrifying, but it was a, it was a split second, and I didn't even really have time to react. I felt a huge, like a really hard hit um, right I don't know how else to say this, like right between my legs and it pushed me, it hurt and it pushed me up and out of the water. I saw it clamp on my leg, so I don't know if I saw it bite my leg or if I saw it after it bit my leg, but I definitely saw the mouth. As soon as I got rammed, I go, oh, I just got hit by a shark. Like in my head, I was like, I knew. And then I saw, I saw the, the, the jaws and then I knew after that it let me go. It shook maybe like one time, kind of like a dog does. And, uh, and it let me go. And that's when I just knew, I said, we have to, I said to my swim partner, I said, we have, to, David, I've been bit. We have to get in. We have to get into shore. He said he saw the water agitate. He saw me kind of twist around and then he saw the fin in the back of the shark. David started waving to lifeguards as they started swimming as calmly as they could back to shore. Chief Lifeguard John Elderbrock said a lifeguard spotted the two swimmers before the shark attack, and on the next check, he realized their swimming strokes changed. They'd seen us waving, but they didn't, they thought it was a cramp or, um, you know, they, they didn't realize the severity. At this point, the pair were a few hundred yards from the beach, but outside the surf zone and slowly making their way to the beach. Lifeguards helped the pair back to shore and noted both swimmers maintained their composure and commented how diligent David was of Jutronich. Once on the beach, lifeguards examined the womb and confirmed no arteries were severed. When that happened, I felt just a sense of huge relief. She was taken to Scripps Memorial Hospital in La Jolla, where doctors treated multiple lacerations. The biggest laceration is about 8 centimeters, 3.15 inches long, two and a half centimeters, about 0.79 inches wide, and two to three centimeters, about one and an eighteenth inch deep. She is in good spirits and plans on getting back in the water, but admits it will be a struggle. Swimming is a lifelong passion of mine, and especially in the ocean, I love love it. It's um, for, very, for many reasons, not just to get the workout in, but uh, I, I just, I first I'm going to focus on, on on healing my wounds, and then we'll focus on healing the psychology of it. She also wants to stress the importance of swimming with a buddy and near lifeguards. My friend did send me an article that said that I should buy a Powerball ticket because apparently the chances of winning with Powerball right now are less than getting attacked by a shark, so you know, I got that going for me. Elder Brock said this is the first shark attack in Del Mar and only the fourth to happen in the county in the last 15 years. Last month, surfer Jared Trainer was bitten on the thigh in the Pacific Grove. A video link to that is in the description. In June, swimmer Stephen Brimer was bitten on the arm, leg, and torso by a white shark off Pacific Grove. In December of last year, a man was killed by a white shark in California. A link to that video is also in the description. You can find more info on shark attack bites at trackingsharks.com. Support by subscribing, giving a super thanks. You can follow us on social media at Tracking Sharks. Share your thoughts in the comments and in our Facebook group. And most of all, thank you for watching and get wet soon.